everybody, my name is Jordan Bow, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the 10 things that I cannot live without. I wanna give a huge shout out to, to uh, I'm gonna get it, one second. To QG for having me, it means the world. I've always looked up to QG. It's just crazy to be here alongside some of my favorite people, favorite celebrities, some of the most talented people in the industry. So I kinda of have everything laid out here, starting with my jug. Shout out J80, best in the business uh, ever. Even though when we all hang out, we all think each other's jugs are each other's jugs. Water, I need water to live, you know what I mean? I'm a big water guy, big living guy, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be kind of serious, but I'm not also gonna be serious. I try to drink about two of these a day. A gallon a day keeps the bathroom not away. Keeps it very close. But I think it keeps the doctor away and it makes me look kind of jacked, even though I'm not jacked at all. I just don't feel right without this. The only time I leave this thing is when I travel, but it's usually a sensitive time. That 10 minute period where I realize that me and my, my JD are we're separating, it's just, it's emotional for sure. When I'm on set, on tour, you know, all the big day, it comes with me everywhere, obviously. I couldn't bring my entire pride and joy here, so instead I brought coffee. I can't live without coffee. I was gonna bring my espresso machine because I can't live without that, but that thing stays in its spot because it weighs about 500 pounds. Obviously not here because we're at the QG studio. I was pointing there like hypothetically. I cannot live without coffee. As I am joking like a lot, but like these are all things I actually cannot live without. That is not a joke. I want you guys to know that. Not that I would ever joke, especially when I'm here at QG. I'm really hot in this trench coat that my stylist picked for me. <clears throat> I cannot live without coffee. I need it. It's not even good for me. It affects me in a bad way pretty much 100% of the time. I'm in the bathroom usually five minutes after my first sip. Sometimes I enjoy the rest of my coffee in the bathroom, but that's just a part of the game. You can't hate the game. You gotta hate the player. You gotta hate the... Don't hate the player, hate the game. Hate the game, not the... Who do, Who the fuck am I supposed to hate? At the, let's get these out of the way. I feel like they're causing a lot of... Bye. A lot of disruptions. Also, I'm pretty sure the camera guy fucking set this... Sh what the fuck is this? There's a thing blocking the frame. Why did anyone tell me this? God, you guys are so fucking unprofessional. Roger, get the fuck away from the camera. Hey, can someone turn the goddamn AC up in here? Oh, it's at 68? Okay. Cologne. Now, not this specific cologne, but I do want to shout out Giorgio Armani himself. He obviously direct shipped this to me. This has been my current, my daily right now. It's not essentially a cologne. It's like the eau de perfume or some shit like that, that like kind of wears off. So I got to like reapply, but I like that smell better than the cologne that also came with it. So I just used that one. I am a hygiene freak. Like I was going to put my toothbrush in this, but I kind of figured that was like an obvious, but like I can't leave the house unless I smell good. Like I brush my teeth four times. You know what I mean? I just don't like it. Luckily, like I didn't wear deodorant until I was like 17. I don't think I've had BO in my life. Is that a blessing? Absolutely. Once I hit like 17, 18, like I will not go anywhere without deodorant. I don't even need it. It's just a backup in case something happens. Happens. It happens. It happens. All right. So cologne number three on the list. Number four. Not this hat specific, but I've been wearing this a lot. I am a huge hat guy. Like I like my hair, and I get my hair cut, and then the next like week I'm wearing a hat. Like I just I don't like leaving the house without a hat. Now today, obviously at QG, I'm gonna look nice and spiffy. My stylist thought. I don't have a stylist. That I should, well, because I'm obviously the best stylist in the world. My son is self-proclaimed stylist for myself. Today, I didn't actually wear a hat, but I, I mean, imagine if you're having a bad hair day. What the f are you gonna do with your head? You know what I mean? It needs a hat. You know what I mean? I don't feel like putting my head under the sink every time. I'm one of those guys. I'm gonna leave the house and I don't have access to a hat. You're gonna find my head in the sink. If I'm too lazy to take a shower, I need my hair to be wet and rejuvenated, okay? By the way, these are in no specific order. Like, I need all of these equally. Okay, that's probably not true. Moving on. Car. My Porsche is my pride and joy. Now, it is interchangeable. All of my cars I've had, I can't live without. But then when I sell them, I live without them, but they need to be replaced. I just always need like a sports, does that sound entitled? But it's not, because I work for it. Like I always need a sports car in my life. Like this could be top of the list. Like that is what makes me the happiest in the world is driving my cars. And sometimes I do become a little numb. And that is why I tend to kind of sell my cars and buy my cars and other reasons I've talked about before. But I do always need cars in my life and if I don't have a car I need cars there maybe it's not exactly the Porsche because it is for sale but I do need a sports car or an exotic car in my life that's my uh it's my kryptonite all right leave me alone next up rings lately I got like this little rash on my finger here because like this massive ring shout out Buck Palmer covers like half my finger and I think it's getting like irritated so I've been ringless but usually like I, I feel off like if I leave the house and I have full mobility not good I don't know what it is and I keep to my diehards like I've been wearing this set I think I swapped out the Louis ring for another ring I used to wear, but that's pretty much my die hard. I would buy more, but I, I like having my daily users. You know, I like having a plan. I like having, well, actually that's not true. I'm like the most spontaneous motherfucker. 
in the world. I get attached to things. Don't get so attached to things. Learn to let's go. If you know what that's from, let's go. If you don't, that was probably super awkward, I'm sorry. I'm actually gonna save this little guy right here for the top three because that is the most important thing in my life. Boom, last piece of clothing. My gooses, dude. The golden gooses. Let me explain to you guys. For those who think those are Converse, they're not. Golden goose, I used to be designer. I'm not a big designer guy. I don't think it's worth the money, but those bad girls right there. They're kind of the middle range. They're like $500, depending. I don't know why, but they're the best shoes ever. Also, I'm not gonna leave the fact out that I do think they make me like a half an inch taller. Like they got a really high sole, you know, boost that confidence a little bit. If I'm meeting up with like a six footer, which I do all the time, I gotta bump myself up a little bit. You know what I mean? Or if the lady's wearing heels, I need my own heels, okay? Like I wear those pretty much every day. Like if my outfit doesn't have blue or red in it, I'm sad because like I need that. Those have miles on them. The good thing with Golden Goose is, it's they're one of those companies where a lot of their shoes come pre up, <laughs> okay? You know what I'm talking about. A lot of these designer companies, Saint Laurent does it. It's like they take their shoe, they create this masterpiece, Italian, Italian handmade. They give it to the me up department and that department just, I don't know what they do. I don't know if they like run miles in them or they like beat the out of them or if they like torture them, what that looks like. But the good news is some of their pairs don't come like them. So what you do is you buy a pair like these, okay? They're on the ground now because I didn't want them on the table. It's kind of gross. Uh, it's a desk. Like they come new. So then you have that period of like when your shoe gets fucked up, it's just getting better essentially, right? So you buy a white pair, you fuck them up and they're actually aging like fine wine. So the more miles I put on those, the more they look brand new. It's incredible. I don't know what world we're living in, but I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Actually, I'm literally doing this last because it's the most important part of my life. There's one that I can't have featured in here and then one that I can, the camera that is currently filming this video. I am a YouTuber by trade. <laughs> Entertainer by night, by day. I need my fucking camera. It's my job. I love it. I love taking photos. I love creating. You know what I mean? I'm sure, like, I am my own self proclaimed entertainer, right? So I wanna be my own TV host. I wanna be my own actor. I wanna be my own TV personality. So I need my camera so I can do all that myself. You know what I mean? I don't need a camera crew like here today at QG. Um, by the way, if you don't get these QG references by now, you're either 14 or you need to, you know what I mean? You need to sharpen that thing up there. All right, I need my camera. It goes with me everywhere. I know sometimes I procrastinate and I upload late and I slack on my vlogs and I don't really use my, okay, I need it. Just get over it, it's part of my life. Second to last thing in my life I need. I mean, I work on my phone, like I need. 11, 11 dude, every day. Such good things are coming for me, you guys don't even know. You wanna get on this way before it happens, all right? Subscribe to Jobo, even though this is the QG channel, not Jobo. I'm just saying go to Jobo's channel. And subscribe because we're getting around the algorithm here. If you're new, obviously. And like it's good and bad because I'm, I'm actually dealing with like serious phone issues. Like where it's sucking me in on a daily basis. Like the, the thing I work on is also sucking me in. I like to say it's like working in the most distracting office in the world. Like this is my office. I mean, I go to work in here. Like I'm working in here on a daily basis. And next thing you know, I'm getting distracted on Instagram, TikTok. And then it gets even worse because like on TikTok, to make TikTok content, you kind of have to scroll through certain TikTok content. And then I'm scrolling through and I'm forgetting that I'm looking for TikTok, it's a terrible, and I'm definitely limiting it, but I cannot live without it. If I was phoneless, I'd be homeless. <laughs> How did I think of that? That was such a good, that's true though, it's, it's probably true. I actually wouldn't be homeless, I'd hustle on the side, you know what I mean? Moving on to the last and final thing, again, I wanna thank QG for having me, I wanna thank my stylist, producers, everyone here who's not here at all because it's pretty much just me. Um, it's actually not pretty much, it is just me here, and I just did put on a really hot coat that I'm, I'm sweating. Can I, am I good to do this? Cool? Oh my God. Oh, my AC, the G QG's AC is at like 68 here and I'm still not doing well. Right here, again, it's like the espresso machine. I couldn't bring the whole thing. This is the remote to my fan. I am essentially a werewolf meets a polar bear. I'm like a polar wolf. I'm a werebear. <laughs> I'm like a Care Bear that needs cold. You know what I mean? I need to sleep in terribly freezing temperatures. Now, I personally live, I obviously brought this from home because we're not home right now. And I know that QG, they rebuilt my home office studio, which is so, I'm so grateful for them. That's so cool that they did that to make me feel at home here. It's crazy what being a celebrity does. I can't sleep without my fan. Now, because I live in Arizona, like I was saying, it's so hot that if I run my AC too cold, I will break it. And then I'm AC-less and then I'm sleeping in 90 degrees, which is actually me just staying awake in 90 degrees because I will not be falling asleep. Not a chance. My ideal sleeping temperature is anywhere from like 55 to 60. 
okay? That's ideal. I could go colder if you give me a sufficient amount of blankets. You know what I mean? It's all about the blanket to temperature ratio. You can't just sacrifice blankets for a higher temp. I can't sleep in 82 with a sheet. No, no, no. I need 65 and a lot of blankets. You kind of see what I'm saying? So this guy balances out. It's a cooling fan from Dyson. It's like $9,000. I'm exaggerating, but it is stupidly expensive. There is a heating uh, setting, which they might as well have just erased from the entire machine at a get-go, but whatever. I'll use it one day. I need that in my life. It's the most important thing I have. It keeps me asleep every night, even though this thing keeps me awake every night. So it's like awake, asleep, awake, Sexy, those are my rings, you know what I mean? Smell good. <laughs> those are the 10 things like I cannot absolutely live without. So I just, again, I wanna thank QG for having me today's episode of 10 things I can't live without. That's what I just said. And I wanna thank everyone here on set. Thanks bro, you're welcome for just being here today and making this an absolute success. So hopefully G QG has me back. <clears throat> I'll see you guys on my next episode on my own channel, Jobo. Go subscribe to Jobo. I have celebrity things I gotta do, so it's been an absolute pleasure. I have to go. I'm getting a business call or something. I swear, there's, a, there's someone on the phone. I got it. Yep, yeah, I'm coming.